guys today in today's video we're going to look at how to print up uh, print primary the primary hand receipt which is also known as the property book um, we're going to see how to print it how to view it how to save it and how to export it uh, send you uh, send an email right from uh, what do we call it P, uh, the PDF screen uh, PDF how, how to send the email and another thing too is uh, there's a bonus video, bonus um, video for commanders and um, exos who, are, who have access to GCSS that want to print, view, um, save, and send emails of their uh, property book. Or yeah, so let's let's get into it. So for for the 92 year case. What we have to we first need a um, unit supply menu, so you type in your Zeus menu as usual. You can go back. Uh, you can also use um, the T code right there, the Zeus menu right there. You can also click that one to take you to the uh, unit supply menu. Then the next big thing is to select the property management. That's where we're going to view our hand receipt then you click on um, primary hand receipt now make sure the stock is checked the structure operation evaluation uh, structure operation is also checked then you put in your UIC yeah yeah we use our UIC to actually get our primary hand receipt um, also make sure your evaluation part is zero to zero down that's the last one organizational structure. So when you have all this thing done, then you execute. Click on the execute. Now here is our primary hand receipt. It has a, the, the 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 stock S looks right. That you can see the description. We have the S look right there. We have the S look, and we have the description defining the S looks. Now this is how you print the primary hand receipt. Then you click on the primary hand receipt. There are so many ways in doing things on GCSS. So after printing out the, showing you how to get to the hand receipt, we're going to go back and show you how to also use other means to print the hand receipt. Most people will not see this on your screen. Especially when you have the uh, the higher version of Adobe, you're not going to see what just happened. It just takes you straight to Adobe. Um, well, let me see. So we're going to go back. Then use the other means to print our uh, uh, primary hand receipt. So what we did is to right click on any part of the screen then the list comes up then you click on the seven receipt so we just right clicked as i said most people will not see this on your screen if you have a higher version of um adobe now that we have our primary receipt you can view it this way you can do whatever analysis you want to do. Now, this is you, you can print it by hitting the print button right there. Also, you can save it on your desktop if you want to. Now you can also send an email straight from PDF, oh, straight from Adobe. This only happens when you have your Microsoft Outlook set up. Now we go back.
you can also click the provision to check the provisional x log both your class 9 and class 2 you can then you hit execute i'm going to show you uh whilst we are showing the um the commanders and exos right we're going to see that you can click the um stock in the provisional x log for you to be able to see both um, your class one and class nine. So now for the commanders and the exos, you click on your property, this uh, book display, then you click on um, display material. Then as you can see, you have the stock and provision already um, checked. You type in your UIC. With this, you have your evaluation part already done, so you click on execute. It's already done, draw it down. Now, we can also going to talk about how to export it to um, Excel. You can export this whole thing to Excel. And this screen itself functions as Excel. This screen functions as Excel. So right now we're showing um, now we uncheck the provision. Then we just see our uh, stock S log uh, or our stock S logs. So the first one was to show both the class nine and class um, two S log mixed with um, the stock S log. So right now we're going to we're going to export this to Excel. You right click then you can see the spreadsheet right there then you click on the spreadsheet you can change the file name to any name that you want then you can save it on your desktop And here we have our Excel spreadsheet. So you can do all your manipulations and everything on here. I'll be actually doing a separate video on how to use this Excel kind of GCSS inbuilt Excel, one of our videos. Uh, this is all for today video and thank everybody for watching and keep sharing so that our 92 yankees will have this knowledge thank you